I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. He's up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. They get him in the backfield for a loss. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. It's third down and seven yards to go. Ball on the 28. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. He's got it out to his tight end. Very good tackle in space. Not every offense uses their tight ends very effectively, but when they do, it can be a nightmare for a defense. He's going to try and scramble. Decides to slide. Four yards there on the scramble. Call it again of four yards. That makes it second and six. Finds his man, first down, brought down around the 36-yard line. He showed some excellent moves out there, more than you usually expect from a tight end. That was a big gain, and this offense keeps coming along. four-yard loss. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. And this is the eighth play of the drive. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. Man can't tack on any yardage. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. Texas A&M could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away, and he splits the uprights. He saw one of their key guys go down earlier. It looks like he might be able to get back in the action. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Alabama's offense, a lot of times they can spread things out and they can really be versatile offensively, but when you've got a wide receiver like this, it really helps the coach. Well, it does, and it, and it continues to help with what they're trying to do. They're trying to find matchups, and when you have one player like this that the defense has got to be aware of, they're going to spread you out, try to find the one-on-one -on -one matchup, and if you spend too much time with this one player, they've got some other weapons to make you pay for it. He fights forward to about the 33. He's pushed out of bounds at the 37. So the halfback picks up around four on the play. That's one of the worst feelings for a defender. You've got the guy in your grasp, and you let him get away. That's the kind of play that coaches grind their teeth over. Harris takes it left. He's at midfield. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 44-yard line. They'll work 
the left side. And they push him out at about the 31. and complete the pass good for six yards. All it takes is a second on these play action fakes to get the defense out of position. And that's how this tight end was able to get open and pick up some yards. They're about four yards away here on second down. Quick pass tight end and he wasn't ready for it. This is the eighth play of this drive. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. It has the distance. And it's good! Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. Three, three time. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Mike eight. Mike eight. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review, they decided that the call on the field will stand. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 42. And he just gets rid of it. Stadium always a factor in a football game. They bring the quarterback down. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. <laughs> and he's tackled at the 31-yard line. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 31. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Complete and taken down immediately. That makes it fourth and inches. Hall back deep to return. Knocked out of bounds at 
at the 28. You talk about our meetings this week with the defensive coordinators, Kirk, and this is what they were hoping for, that they can control the line of scrimmage. Uh, these players must have been listening pretty intently because that's exactly what we've seen. These defenses have come out. They've controlled things early, trying to just set the tone. It's really going to be up to both of these offenses to try to make some adjustments and try to be able to come after them in some way. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. That's a game of three. That'll make it second and second. We played one, and this one's knotted up at three. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. Hits him hard at the 39-yard line. Number two with the First down. Now he tries to buy some time. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 37. And he just gets rid of it. That was incomplete, and it looked exactly like their last pass. It was exact same play, and I think the offensive coordinator just tried to pull a fast one. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. He's taken down around the 47 yard line. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Booming kick. This one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. From their own 17-yard line, second down. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Quick throw. Five wide. Tackle at the 26 yard line. That makes it fourth and four. Gets to about the 41-yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And they make the stop at the 49. Right brings him down at the 49-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Some open field. Gains his way to the 36 yard line. Gain of 13 yards. First down. Tackle made at the 34 yard line. Gets it, he's in space. And he shoved out of bounds around the 21-yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. Gets 
gains his way to the seven yard line. All the game of 14 yards. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Aggies. Things can get pretty fierce in this territory, but they look totally in control there. He makes the PAT. A six-play, 58-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. The score now, 10-3. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. Alabama's offense is so predicated on what this wide receiver does. And now when you consider that we've got a couple of quarters left, they've got to change the complexion of the game a little bit. They're going to have to do it with somebody else, I think. This is really where a coaching staff gets challenged because for five or six days, you prep. And you look at a lot of film, and you kind of come into a game by the time Saturday rolls around. And you have a good idea of how you want to attack the defense. And then you go out there, and it's not working. You have to show an ability as a coaching staff to go back and look at the drawing board and eliminate some things and maybe add some things and be able to try to make the adjustments you need to to give your team a chance to win in the second half. And he's taken down at about the 47-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Uh, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. He's under some heat. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. He's tackled at the 30. He's got to throw it in a hurry. That's a great tackle at the 32. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. From the 32-yard line, second down. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. First and ten. Ball on the 15-yard line. Runs outside for a nice game. Harris gets seven yards on the play. Alabama just took their first time out. Quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. You got to give each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both defenses really played well so far, Herbie. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. him down right around the 28 yard line. Richardson gets around three on the halfback draw. He really did a nice job of anticipating the run and making the play on the ball carrier. Fires out to his wideout and he's tackled at the 38 yard line. 
first makes the tackle at the new yard line. That makes it first and ten. Mike eight. Mike eight. They'll knock him down for a loss. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. He's scrambling. And down he goes, right around the 42-yard line. Listen to this place. Alabama's going to have to use their second time out of the half. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. He really got a hold of that one. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. That makes it second and ten. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. That's not going to move the sticks. Yeah, this defense played some sound football out there and did a good job of not letting them get into any kind of rhythm. Paul is back to receive. Oh, excellent punt. Tackle made at the 50. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. It's first and 10. Ball on the 37. down immediately. Texas A&M will take their last time out. Did you see how he looked that ball into his hands? That's how you catch a football. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he just drilled it from long range. Turn team looks ready to go. They need to take this one all the way in order to lead at the half. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 26. A great first half comes to a close. Texas A&M's got a three-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I'm a fan of seeing guys one step wrap, two step squeeze, bring your feet, arrive with bad intentions. Uh -huh. uh, I don't want to take anything away from these defensive guys, David, but... Could this be that we're seeing a healthy dose of some pretty bad offense, too? It goes hand in hand, doesn't it, Reese? I mean, well, sometimes. usually, sometimes, uh, you know, pretty good defense makes, you know, average offenses look really, really bad. But, you know, it, when you have a great defense and you can take something away, especially the strength of the other offense, and make them do things that they don't do exceptionally well, and, you know, don't let them throw the fastball, make them throw the curve. And you see great defenses be able to do that all the time. And, and that's when you can be ultra successful. You have to find ways to make people play you know, the game out of their comfort zone. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. 
and if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Texas A&M's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Makes it out to about the 33. Level at the 43 yard line. He gets rid of this one. From their own 43 yard line, second down. to the receiver, incomplete. Smith was the intended receiver on the play. Third down. Keep it up, defense. Keep it up, guys. Here we go. Oh, no. Here we go. Hey. One for five. One for five. There's a strike complete. He's down. That's good for him. Seven yards. Fourth down. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Texas A&M holds a field goal lead. Passes to the left and it's going the other way the 30. He's taken down around the 26-yard line. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw, and that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. Throws complete. He's hammered. Johnson's in the second half. That was going to be one. That'll make it second and four. Go, Chad. Here we go, Jack and Mark. Check the ball. Strike to the receiver, touchdown. And he hits the PAT. A four play, 26 yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Alabama is ready to kick it away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle at the 31-yard line. Number 22 
brings him down at the 31 yard line. Mike eight. Mike make eight. Set and set the tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. Here we go. Check. Scrambling around, runs with it, and he's got room. And they make the stop around the 44-yard line. That makes it first and ten. There's a very impressive open field tackle. First down. bring him down for a loss on the play. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. From the 25-yard line, second down. Here we go! Pass complete and taken down immediately. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks up, and it's good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both teams have really answered the bell here in the third quarter, Kirk. Well, exciting to see what these offenses have been able to do here. To be able to come out and score in your first drive tells you a lot about what they did during the half. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. Well, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. Alabama is up one. Good open field tackle. He's going to come up short. Good tackle. That'll bring up fourth and one. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Booming kick. He's taken down at the 27. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Tackle made at the 25. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. From their own 25-yard line, second down. tries to buy some time and he's taken down at the 38 and that was a nice pickup by the quarterback Brent, I think this guy's amazing he has an uncanny ability to scramble and it showed right there on that play throws complete he's got space to work he's tackled around the 49 yard line that makes it first and ten 
Throw and he's got his man again. That's a great tackle at the 42. Watch the screen, watch the screen. That brings up second and one. Mike eight, Mike eight. Here we go. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start, offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still second and down. From the 47 yard line, it's second down. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. Gains an 8 yards. Left, man, left. First down. Three down, three down. Mike 35, Mike 35. Ready. Check, check. Right. Tiger. Right. He's on the run. They'll bring him down to the 37-yard line. Called his own number on that one. I like the idea of trying to run here, but the defense really made him pay the price for trying to run. He scrambled, and he's going to be sacked. So at the end of three, Alabama leads it 17-16. Great three quarters of action, tight ball game, and now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. Flips it, middle to the running back. We might look back on this game when it's all over and say that's the point where they won the football game with that stop. Fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. It has the distance, and he hooked it left. That would have given them the lead. You know, sometimes you have to feel sorry for these kickers. They watch most of the game from the sideline, but then they're asked to come in and win the game in the fourth quarter. It's a lot of pressure to handle. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Alabama up a point. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. That makes it second and eight. And he's tackled at midfield. Fires it out. He gets rid of this one. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen, and they push him out at the 45. Straight run here, and he's got nowhere to go. Good, solid defense there to force him into a fourth down situation. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. He really got a hold of that one. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. At about the 37 yard line. That makes it first and ten. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Second down, ten to go. Ball on their own 37.
tries to scramble, but he's sacked. Becoming the 12th man, the crowd is always into it here. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Oh, excellent punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Alabama with a one-point lead. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and eleven. receiver and that's a first down brought down at about the 31 from their own 31 yard line it's first down and he makes it out to about the 34 yard line a couple maybe three yards on that run Texas A&M is going to have to use their second time out of the half Makes it out to about the 37-yard line. So the Aggies using their third and final timeout. They're about four yards away here on third down. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. Hall is the deep man awaiting the return. away and it's a booming punt and he's taken down at the 28 yard line this has been a great game and it all comes down to this who can prevail the offense or the defense we're about to find out who's going to win it in this drive got his man can't tack on any yardage And he 
stops the clock with a spike. From their own 32-yard line, third down. And it all comes down to this. One last chance to throw one up and see if somebody can bring it down and win the game. Going long. Picked off. It's the cornerback. Alabama's team right now aware that they are a team. Hey, they're starting to shine today. Everybody else picked up the pace, though. I think we all came in expecting to see that star player really shine. And, and the fact that they didn't have a great game from him and still won the football game, boy, I walked away from this game as a viewer just thinking even that much more about this team than maybe what I thought prior to the football game. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.